Well, welcome back, everybody. Today we got Lewis, one of my uh, most recent clients. Um, he's had some big, big shifts and some big, uh, some big changes. I uh, want to get him on to kind of talk about his experience and some of the things that he uh, went through, um, some of the transformations he's had, and kind of what his life is like since uh, since all this work. Lewis, thanks for uh, hopping on with us today. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. Awesome. Awesome. So how about you go ahead and take a minute or so, just kind of introduce yourself to people, kind of tell them kind of like what you do, your bit of your background. Yeah, sure. Uh, my name's Lewis. I'm on the East Coast. Been working a desk shop for a while. Um, and I had spent uh, some time doing self-improvement mm -hmm. on myself. I was noticing that I had issues in life that didn't make sense and I wanted to resolve just interacting with people, thinking about myself. I didn't have all my thoughts under control. So I started a journey to, you know, different things, meditation, readings, different experiences, getting some help from different boot camps and such. Uh, and I was on that journey for like on and off for a few years, making progress, which is good. But then one day I came to like a critical point, like a boiling point. I was, um, it was actually back in, I want to say this January. So we're in okay. August now. Yeah. And all the progress that I was making was starting to – something was uh, – alarms were going off in my head. It's like, wait, you're making a lot of progress. There's nothing really wrong with you. You have all this capability. Why mm -hmm. are you making all this progress? What are you trying to do? What do you want? What What are you doing? And I couldn't answer that question. I couldn't answer it. I was like, holy shit, I can't answer that <laughs> And I knew that there was nothing in life – beyond answering this question, I had no life. That's what it felt like. It felt like everything was uh... – it's pointless. What the hell? No, there. I need to answer this question, and I cannot do it alone. I can't. Interesting. So I re I remembered you were on some. You were on a video with someone. I saw you on the internet somewhere, and I made mm -hmm. a note. You made a note of you when I saw you first. I said, "That guy's too cool. He's not for me. I'm never going to talk to him." <laughs> <laughs> but I remember something you said in one of mm -hmm. your videos, or whoever you were interviewing with, that said, "You help men." figure out like what it is they're supposed to be doing, like what they should be working towards mm -hmm. for them. And I said, that's very specific to exactly what I'm trying to solve. Awesome. So we had, I, I reached out to you. I said, let's do this. I, I'm not holding back. I, I don't have time to waste in my life. Let's go. <laughs> and we awesome. had our initial chat, uh, initial chat for a few minutes. And um, I couldn't understand completely, like consciously that you were understanding what I was saying. But I felt mm -hmm. inside like a reaction just in our first consultation, just like, mm -hmm. hey, introduction. I felt a reaction inside me like something's happening. That that chat alone, we haven't even done a session. That chat alone is like sending off alarms. And I'm not going to fight this, but he's like understanding. What the hell? I didn't even really say much. He just kind of just got it by the way my manner is. <laughs> what have you? Mm -hmm. uh, so. And then we had a session, our first session. Mm -hmm. Like a few days after that, a week, something like that. Yeah. 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 Cool. Cool. So um, it sounds like you've been on a journey for a while. You've been doing a lot of work. You're hustling, you're grinding, you're, you're, you're getting everything done. You're kind of doing everything that everybody says you're supposed to be doing. And yeah. you're getting all the results that people say you should be getting. But you kind yes. of had this realization of like, that's not enough. There's missing some purpose in life. There's, there's missing meaning. Uh, and you're really yes. trying to get uh, something deeper. And that was kind of like what triggered you to kind of reach out to figure out what else was going on. Right. Yes. Yeah. So what was that major goal? What was, what were you really looking for? What were you really looking to get from this work? Yeah. I, I, it's funny. I'm telling, I'll tell you, cause I'm, I'm getting it right now. So it's great. Mm. I was, I wanted complete and absolute lack of doubt and like acting mm. without lament. I, I wanted to say, no, no, who am I and what am I doing? I don't want to hear about anything around me. Who am I? And mm -hmm. what am I doing without any kind of regret or doubts or, or self-talk? Like, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. You have okay. to be able to answer this question. Like, do you, you want what you want. And I wanted to okay. just be able to know that so that I could put all my energy, all my focus, all my being behind it. I, there's, I sense that if I can put all my being and energy behind something, mm -hmm. truly knowing without, with a, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that I will feel truly like just me, like mm -hmm. really me. And I want to experience that. Like I think life is meant to experience that moment of you really being yourself without anything in your mind saying, oh, you should have done this or you should do that or people are thinking this or blah, blah. Fuck all that. 
<laughs> that's what I was looking for. I love that. I love that. That's that's a, a sense of freedom that most people don't even really consider because we. I, mo- yeah. 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 We, most of the time we end up, you know, doing all these societal narratives and what everybody tells us what to do and all that other stuff. And it's really hard to break free from that and just be yourself. So um, hypnosis is kind of a weird thing. 99% of people out there have never really heard about it. They don't really know much about it. Um, did you have any reservations or any concerns about doing hypnosis and using that as a methodology to kind of address some of these issues and make that change? Yeah. So I never told anyone, mm-hmm. you know, about it, but yeah, of course, of course it's mm-hmm. natural. Like, okay, someone's going in my mind, an area that I haven't mastered. Right. Yep. And I have to really trust them and know them or just have faith that I can, I will still be myself and that they are going to help me. And mm-hmm. What's really interesting, at least for me, it was, I guess, because of the journey I'd been taking for a while before I went mm-hmm. to hypnosis, which was dramatically just <laughs> so fast, um, the, the results. But I had built up within myself and I remembered, hey, mm-hmm. you have capability and competence and faith in yourself, even if it's a little messed up right now. Mm-hmm. You have to believe that you, you, you're going for help for a reason. You have right. to believe that you are going to put into work also to the best of your ability and try mm-hmm. your hardest the entire time. You're not just going to put it on someone else. They're there, but you, like with everything else in life, remember, remember what you succeeded in in life. Yep. You have to give your best effort or else there's no point. It's about you. So I, mm-hmm. I use that to help myself. But yes, I, it was, of course, reservations. That makes sense. <laughs> right, 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 right. Cool, cool. So it sounds like, you know, you kind of like met those reservations. You're like, no, this is kind of the thing that I need to do. Um, that's awesome. What kinds of things, you know, as we work through the process, as we went through these different sessions, what were the kinds of things that you sort of realized during the sessions? What were some of those like breakthroughs and aha moments that you had? <laughs> Too many to count. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer. What were some of the biggest <laughs> ones for you? Let's see. I'll, I'll see. I'll try to do the ones I can remember. So one of the biggest ones was, and, and I'm glad you helped me with this um, mm-hmm. because it's not just hypnosis. It's also like there's more support behind it that why it makes mm-hmm. sense. Um, was that the feelings that I'm having are, there was, I could feel them like more intently, more intensely. And now Mm -hmm. I can feel them all the time. But whereas before, Mm -hmm. maybe once a year, I felt my emotions. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, I, my, my, I like had a block, a mental block from my body's emotions and any of my emotions to like my mind. So that was, I mean, that's the huge one. And the reason mm-hmm. that's huge, as you already know, is that's a part of you and it gives you feedback. It gives you information. It's something to mm-hmm. give attention to. There's no reason in rejecting any part of yourself. That that literally doesn't make any sense at all. What the hell? Why would you do that? <laughs> Why? You, you're you the most important right. thing there is. Why would you reject any part of yourself? That doesn't make sense. So that was a huge one. Another one was... This this is this is subtle. It was like trusting my mind. Mm. The actual practice and feeling, and I do it every day now, by the way. I just mm. I did it a couple times today. Where I can just say, wait, wait, wait. I could feel like a like a like my, your brain, the muscle, like mm-hmm. kind of muscle relaxed. And is it mm. and you just put your faith in it and it felt like it's gonna handle it. Mm. Have faith in your mind to do its part. But I could feel mm-hmm. that for the first time. And I use it today with learning. I, I do. I'm like, dude, with my Muay Thai, I'm like, all right, think a little bit. Trust the brain. Relax. It has a job to do also. Don't try to think all the fucking time. The psychotic. <laughs> There's other parts of you to use. So that was huge. You So like, dude, you're giving tools that I use that are part of how you should be operating. Mm. Um, the other one was big. And I'm hesitant to tell people about it. So I'll share it now. And. You can do what you want with it, but this is going to sound weird to most people, I think, but I did experience, and I didn't expect to experience it, ego death. Mm. Um, That's the best way I can describe it, where I was panicking a lot before we did our session, like very a lot, and I realized that I felt that two identities were battling inside me. One was the true identity, the other was more of a, like a, it was an identity that helped me at a time. Right. But it wasn't helping me anymore. And that's mm. that's what brought me to you in the first place. They were starting to fight and the one inside, the real me, was coming out and I was scared. 
I was scared mm. of me, like the real me. I don't know how to describe this, so I'm just, that's how I'm going to explain it. Go for it. Um, and it was he was coming out, and I was afraid of him. I was afraid of myself. I was terrified of myself, like my true ability. And I'm like, but it was the fake me that was afraid of the real me. And mm. that it felt like, not to scare anybody, but it felt like I was going to die. But, but then I said, wait, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Remember your competence, your faith in yourself, stand mm. up, focus, believe in yourself, allow yourself to operate. Let's go through this door. Mm. Because if you really believe in yourself, you'll make it. You're going to make it. Yeah. And you know what? Why does it, ex like, th it's there for a reason. Let's go face this thing. No more running away. But we've had enough of that mm. shit. You're going to live now or not. Are you going to live right now or not? Like, honestly, what the hell are you doing? Let's go. Yep. Yep. So just, I guess I had realizations that came to me, but also learning too. Mm. Different, like that. And and the, the books help too. I went further with the books. Mm, the books great. help. Um, it, It's good to read them engage with them think about them let them feel what they feel and it, it gives you more perspective and then you your yeah. mind grows you say hey i like growing i like yeah i developing this leads me to something more yeah that piece on identity is so huge because so often you know we reach a point in our lives where we kind of don't like who we are and at that point, it's like, well, we can't allow ourselves to be ourselves. So we have to create a different self or create a different image, create a different ego identity, you know, conscious identity of something like that to strive for. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm an entrepreneur, or I'm a Muay Thai guy, or, you know, I'm a scientist or a PhD or whatever it is, right? Yeah. And when that's the way you've lived for so long, letting go of that identity, letting go of that concept can be horrifying. It can be really horrifying because you don't know. It's, it's like you're oper kind of operating without a net. But the yes. beautiful thing is, once you get to a place where you can actually accept all of what you really are and come to terms with all of what you really are, then letting that go of that fake out in and letting go of that facade, that mask that you've been wearing, frees you to actually be who you really are and frees you to actually live the life you're supposed to be living as opposed to living the life you think you have to live because you're not allowed to be who you are. And that's, right. that's huge. That's like, you know, most people have to do a lot of therapy, a lot of psychedelics, you know, go on spiritual journeys yeah. and meditate for years. Like, yeah, that's huge. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. And, and um, you don't, and you don't have to, you, you, I, I'm, yeah. I'm going to say this. everything you need. It's already inside you. Yep. It, it's, it, you have what you have it. It's in you. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you're right. That, that was huge. It was scary. Once you, let go of that and accept all of yourself mm -hmm. and you're okay with it without using external judgment. It's just wait, stop. This is me, right? Stop. I'm not going right. to judge myself. This, this is who I am. I like whatever banana flavor that that's just you accept it. Yeah. You don't want to go back to lies. Your mind won't let you. Mm. It, it, no, you'd rather fight for yourself. You want to fight to be yourself. That's what you like. You just, you, you love it. You love just being yourself. There's nothing like amazing. it. It's not addictive. It's not something you chase. It's more like an honoring yourself. It's mm. yeah. That's what it feels like. That's amazing. That's amazing. So what kinds of things were like the most surprising to you about going through this process? I was surprised. Uh, two, two things. Two things that I can think of. I was surprised that it wasn't, I, I thought it was going to be like a slog. Like we're going to be at mm -hmm. this, like, all right, three hours every other day. We're going to fix your fucked up brain identity mm -hmm. uh, for like seven months. And we're, but, um, I was surprised that you were able to, you, I'm, I'm going to give you mm -hmm. credit here. I was Thank surprised you. that you were able to, <laughs> and very surprised. Hold on. Let me, let me emphasize this. I, me personally, I was very impressed and surprised at your ability to understand something that I could not consciously communicate to myself nor mm. anybody else in my life. So I was surprised at how efficient you were at like just getting it, like right at it. Um, so that was surprising. Mm. I thought it would be a lot. Uh, now it ended up being 
emotionally taxing on me, of course. Yeah. But I thought it would just be many, many sessions for a long time. Mm -hmm. Like therapy would be, I've never done therapy. Right. I never really believe in that bullshit. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about therapy? I'm not going to relive. No, shut up. But I want results, <laughs> man. I don't, I don't have fucking time mm -hmm. to be wasting mm -hmm. it. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause I want to live my life now, mm -hmm. not 10 years from now, wasting my time. Mm -hmm. So that was surprising. The other thing was when you gave me the assignment, like, Hey, you yeah. know, for X amount of time, I need you to stop doing what you were doing before. Relax, take it easy. It's okay to just mm. chill. It's it's okay. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's more than fucking okay. You deserve it. Relax. Mm -hmm. And that was an assignment. And I was happy to continuously throughout the day remind myself and work with that. And mm -hmm. I guess because of the session we did, I was really able to give myself that love. Mm. I said, no, no, this, this is, this is for me. I was like communicating with myself. Like I, mm. I built a relationship with myself. Sounds weird, awesome. but it was the greatest thing I've ever done. Building a relationship that's with amazing. myself. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That speed component is, is huge, right? Like if you've been at this for a few years, like you don't want to spend years and years more. Right. And no. for those of us who are on that path of we've got things to do, We've got dreams, we got goals, we're on a mission. Like we can't be spending a whole lot of time messing around. We gotta get effective change fast. Yes. You know, and that's and I and I love how when you get it when you get somebody like yourself who's self aware and is willing to do the work and is willing to go through stuff, it can happen just so quickly. And when you're willing to face the things about yourself you don't really like, when you're willing to face the things that, you know, are not necessarily socially acceptable. Um, it's yeah. man, it can happen quick. It can happen really quick. So what was yeah. um, the hardest part of your experience? What did you struggle with the most going through this process? What I struggled with the most was, and, and maybe this is just something on me, uh, but I, I wouldn't do this again, is that I wasn't <laughs> sure when I, there were t times that I struggled afterwards when I, but I kept working from, for like mm -hmm. a long time, months. I kept like, Hey, remember what you learned? Return to center, mm -hmm. return to who you are. Practice living as yourself in the mm -hmm. world that doesn't really directly support you. And it shouldn't, that doesn't make sense for the world to do that. And I, and I kept at it. I said, no, no, this is important. I remember how I felt in the sessions. I remember that feeling that is more important than anything. I kept that in my mind. I kept mm -hmm. going back to that. I said, no, no, no. That was everything you could have ever possibly felt about yourself. Nothing mm. else in life, no one else in life has anything to do with this. This is more important to you than anything. You know that. Don't forget. Mm. That was challenging in the world, but I, I wanted to face that challenge. I, I, I like challenges, honestly. So <laughs> I guess that was a good habit. I was like, hey, bring it on. But, good. But, but I didn't want to create a habit at the same time of like feeling any kind of way bad about it. Yeah. Like, no, 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 hold on, hold on. How do you honestly feel? Okay, let's go with that. Mm -hmm. And the other and the other thing to extension of that was it actually I was trying to figure out when I had something come up inside like something new cuz mm -hmm. once we do a session, other things can come up later. It's possible, but you're yeah. you're more, they're now able to even come up in the first place. Mm -hmm. And you're able to detect them mm -hmm. and say, "Oh, let me try to work on it." And I would try and if I got to a point where I really couldn't go any further, I reached back out again and said, "Hey, look, this is what I've tried." Um, yeah, and I think it was important that I didn't just like, I don't know. It maybe it's just me. I was like, Hey man, fix this for me. Yeah, I could do that, but that's not me engaging fully with you or the process right. or myself. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a balance between pushing yourself, but mm -hmm. like knowing, okay, yeah, I, I have a stop gap here and that's okay. Yeah. 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 And the thing is like, it, it takes a lot of self-awareness to say, okay, I'm not actually going to be able to fix this on my own. Like that's one of the biggest things that I think holds a lot of people back is this idea of I've got to do it on my own. I can't ask for help, right? Or if I just keep on going long enough, if I just bang my head against this wall long enough, it's going to give. It's like, mm, like you can, <laughs> but it's probably not going to work the way you really want it to. And, yeah. No, 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 well, yeah. and, and actually, I'm glad you brought that up. Earlier today, I had, I had something I was dealing with mm -hmm. and I said, okay, try different things until you start play with it. Mm -hmm. Play with what you're feeling. Why? Yep. And just let it come to you. This is another challenge that you, do you think they were going to go away forever? No, they're not mm -hmm. going to go away, but it means something to you on some level. So I just, I didn't say, oh no, F that feeling or like, oh, it means this. Yeah. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. 
I'm not a, I'm not a dictator here. I'm myself. Mm -hmm. So I just kept playing with that. Uh, and I got something which was empowering out of it. I was like, oh, sh shit. Noted. Mm. That's important. So good. you're right. Good, good, good. Awesome. So was there any point like during the process going through this um, that you felt like you wanted to quit? Oh, um, I would. Yes, yes, there was. There okay. was. A, there was a moment. Yeah. Um, but but that was the bitch in me from being racist. <laughs> How I was. <laughs> I was like, wait, that's the bitch in you. That, like, so when I wanted to quit, I, and I felt like that's the bitch in you. Then I got angry. I was like, I'm gonna beat this guy's fucking ass for the computer monitor. <laughs> and I was like, stop, stop, stop. That's not, okay. that's that's being childish. What are you really right. afraid? Then I turned back to myself. Like, All right, come on. What's the problem? Be honest. What's mm -hmm. the problem? Like, but yeah, it was like, this is challenging. In a very intimate and personal way. I'm like, holy mm -hmm. shit. And I said, well, dude, you you know what? It's okay not to be good at something you've done mm. for the first time. It's a relax. <laughs> Chill out. Right. We can just, hey, it went this way. I could tell that you could understand how the process was going for me and that mm -hmm. I could say, hey, look, I think I need a little bit more or whatever. And mm -hmm. that went through my mind during the process very fast. And I said, oh, we're back. I'm here. I opened up again. I Got said, it. I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool. Got it. Got it. So there was, uh, it was the, the intimate and getting really deep and just like having to, having to, having to confront, um, the depth of what you had to do that was like, okay, maybe this is too much, but then you kind yeah. of pushed through it. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, um, did you have any big wins like during or after or have a moment where you're like, holy crap, this is actually working? <laughs> the the biggest win mm. was when I had this realization come to me mm. that I could really sense. From, it came to me. I didn't force it. It came from within me. I'm going to say it like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, let me say this real quick. No one told me how to express what I'm talking about. I'm, right. I've never researched this really or understood. No one's explained any, any of what I'm talking about. No one has told me personally about any of this. Okay. This is coming from my expression of who I am mm. and what came to me from within that I'm like, holy shit. Oh, okay. So that's how I know it's true and right. And if mm. someone says it isn't one, I don't give a shit. And two, I don't give a shit. <laughs> so I had this something come from within me to mm. communicate with me, which was me. And I got a sense of my, the highest version of, of my mm. existence is the way I could say it. Mm. And I got a real, I got to play with it. Mm. I hesitate to explain this to people completely because I don't, I've never even heard of it before. Mm. Um, and once I, once I experienced that, the only word I could say was was everything like i it was just i was everything that's what it felt like mm. on a level that was beyond emotions beyond thinking beyond subconscious beyond identity mm. beyond beyond dna it, i don't know what the fuck you would call it <laughs> it was fantastic and right. i was like oh it's me and i felt this is a very intimate thing i'm sharing seriously this mm. is extreme this is the most intimate thing i can share so I'm trusting people. I genuinely felt that I was absolutely complete and perfect as I am. And I always was. And that I had everything I could possibly mm. want or need. And I was willing to give my best to the world. And actually, I want to. I want to be my best and mm. give my best to the world. That's what's all like. No. That is, uh, that's an incredibly powerful experience. And that's the kind of thing that people talk about um, experiencing after like, big ayahuasca journeys and doing DMT and doing like really heavy psychedelic stuff and a lot of that kind of work. Um, so the fact that this was like kind of a spontaneous event for you, like after doing this work is pretty amazing. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Yeah, no pretty no amazing. psychedelics, no drugs. I no, not for me. So aside from this massive spiritual spontaneous awakening, um, <laughs> were there any other kinds of like when smaller ones, like slightly less earth shattering ones that you experienced along the way? Yeah. So, there's, uh, there's, you know, if, if you know the red pill space, they teach you how to be uh, masculine, right? 
-hmm. and they give you these tips and things you can try and you practice and you go in the world yeah. and you do get results mm -hmm. and you try to take on those identities and put it within you and such and, and you get results uh it feels right. a little forced and over time it could become a habit and maybe it'll be who you are but the win i got was that i understood that and yet i could I could operate around by transcending that without mm. trying to transcend that. It was like, no one needs to tell me anything. I don't, I don't need to be mm. told anything. I, I'm, I'm more masculine than you, or I'm confident. I don't, I don't have to think that I don't have to practice something. I just am myself. Mm. And I was getting the same results that I was getting before when I would try to do that thing, but I was getting it without even thinking about doing it. Mm. And I was getting it in a like it wasn't like oh I'm faking it I wasn't wasting energy, mm. and I was just thinking, you know I can really sense here who kind of doesn't have their subconscious mind under control. I can just like see it all the time <laughs> everywhere. I'm like oh interesting, but I don't judge them. Mm. I don't judge them. Right. I'm like oh I I get it. Right. Oh look at that. Huh. I understand yeah. where you're coming from. Oh, look at that. Mm. Well sweet. That's amazing. So Useful. it's like you you had this like. You actually have like a genuine confidence now. That's actually coming oh. from within, as opposed to mission. Thank outside. you for okay. Yeah. Thank you. Wait, let me say something. Yes, thank you for saying mm. that. You reminded me. Genuine confidence, real confidence that everyone's talking about. I don't care mm -hmm. who fucking tells you. I'm going to tell you right now. I know for a fact. It is simply the lack of anything inside you that sees yourself as less than in any way. Mm. You're simply at 100. percent You're not 110. You're not at 90 for some random fucking reason. You're simply not held back by yourself. Mm. That's cool. Just being you, nothing inside you holding you back. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist inside you. Yeah. That's real confidence. Easy. It's freedom. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. And the beautiful thing is like once you get there, it's the easiest thing to, in the world because you just be you and you don't have to do anything else. And it's just there. And it's awesome. It's awesome. So, um, now that your life is like very, very different, um, this is probably a, a weird question, but like, why is that important to you? Yeah. T so to me, it's, it's important because for two reasons, one, I originally said that I wanted to know what I wanted to do and move mm -hmm. forward in that direction. And it's, I realized recently that it's even more important that that question I just said that I wanted the answer mm -hmm. to was bullshit. Mm. That's a bullshit question. Interesting. The, re the reason it's so much more important to me. The reason is because I'm deciding what is important to me based uh. off who I am. I don't have to look anywhere else. There's no need. Mm. I don't have to ask that question either. Mm. I don't have to have thoughts unnecessarily. They don't, I don't need them. What it is and who I am is what I want to do in that moment. And it's okay to change that later. It, it's fine. Whatever you... So now I can say, okay, I want this, this, and this. Go after it. Nothing mm. hold me back. And say, if that changes later, fine. Great. That's mm. what I wanted to do. If I do something, hey, it's off my mind now. Good. I wanted to do that. Why? Because I wanted to do that. That's mm. the point of life. That's the point of being alive. It's for mm. you to do whatever the hell you want to do. That's what it's for. It's not for anyone else. That doesn't awesome. make sense. Awesome. That's that's amazing. That's truly amazing. Um, what are you excited about doing next? Like, what are you excited about coming up in your life? Now so, that you're like, get, free I, the way you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I keep getting this. Um, I'm at a certain level in life right now. Mm -hmm. I don't like measurements too much, but whatever. We'll say it. I have a certain mm -hmm. level of life right now. I have a certain way I want to that I genuinely want to be. Mm -hmm. And I keep getting these like powerful sensations inside my chest where every time I have a situation, and I'm going to answer the question, but I'm explaining it first. Mm -hmm. I have anytime a, a situation comes up that's challenging or tough or I don't like it. Right. I keep realizing, Hey, the solution is to be your best self. Cause then mm -hmm. this would never come up. So go create your best self with the perfect mm -hmm. life you want. And there you go. The problem is solved. You have your purpose. There it is. Um, so I'm excited to write down. There are some things that feel right that I want to do. Okay. And I'm excited to explore them. And I won't have a regret about it because mm. it's the only thing that's come to my mind. So I'm like, okay, great. 
There you go. That's your answer. You don't have to second guess it. That's your answer. Go. You'll be fine. There's That's no amazing. ideal you have to hold on to. You, you're you're within yourself. You're guided by yourself. It's it's okay. Let's go. Let's go. So, awesome. There's some things. There's some things. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, what kind of advice would you give someone who was in your position before you started working with me? Hmm. I would say that. Yeah. Sure. So if if I was going to give advice to someone, I would say remember. Being yourself is, is priority one. That's what everybody else is doing, mm -hmm. right? Just accept logic for what it is. And if you're going to work with Ryan, make sure that you want to put in the work. And, I, and, I'll, and I'll tell you why you want to make sure of that. Because that never stops in mm -hmm. life. You keep every day you want to put in that work. But guess what? You're doing it for you, for the things you want. What could be a higher cause than that? What What mm. could be? How is how How is it? That's what I would tell them. That's amazing. That's very good advice. Very good advice. Um, is there anything else you want to share? Anything else uh, you want to say to people before we let you go today? Um. Yes, there is. I wish you guys well. Mm. Have great lives. If we cross paths, that's great. Uh, I'm studying Muay Thai, so don't mess with me. I'll kick your ass, maybe. <laughs> try, I'll try. No, I'm kidding. I'm sure we'll get along great. But yeah, awesome. do well. I'm inspired if people people do well. That inspires me. I like that feeling. So good luck, guys. Awesome. Outstanding. Outstanding. Well, Lewis, thank you so much for joining us today. It was uh, awesome to talk with you. i um, really excited about your transformation. Um, kind of blown away about you know exactly how profound that was for you and how deeply you've changed. Um, and I love seeing you moving through the world the way that you are, just being you with that kind of like genuine confidence. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, really appreciate that. And best of luck. And I know you're going to do amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Awesome. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you.